I'm down in Parliament this week in order to debate and vote on a whole raft of really controversial legislation that this government is attempting to bring in, including the online safety bill and the revocation of a massive uh, range of EU law. But the bill we're voting on tonight that I wanted to update you on is known as the Minimum Services Bill, which is an attempt to reduce the right of working people to fight for better pay and conditions. What it attempts to do is remove that right for a range of sectors across health, transport, fire and rescue, borders um, and education because we're seeing a huge raft of industrial disputes in those areas at the moment. The Labour Party believes this legislation is unjustified and unworkable. It's unjustified because workers across these sectors, many of them at low paid, have have suffered real terms pay cuts for many years now and are being offered very, very low, uh, below inflationary pay rise at the moment. And that's what's driving their um, strikes and industrial action across the sectors. And it's because the government has refused to come to the negotiating table that a lot of these industrial disputes are rumbling on at the moment. So instead of negotiating, instead of compromising, instead of coming to hear the concerns of those frontline workers, what the government intends to do instead is to legislate to remove that right. It's also completely unworkable. We've seen in comparable European countries that the government keeps on mentioning where they have this legislation, they actually lose more strike days every year than we do. And their own impact assessment suggests that it will encourage more industrial action short of a strike, poisoning industrial relations further and worsening industrial disputes. So by the government's own assessment, it's not going to work to help settle these disputes. It's not going to work to drive up pay and conditions in these sectors, which is obviously what we want, what we want to see. And it's not going to work to deliver better public services. I would also suggest it's totally risable that the government itself is talking about minimum services when people can't rely on the NHS on non-strike days because ambulances have such long waiting hour, uh, waiting times as does A&E and it's so difficult for people to get a GP. Same goes for transport where whether it's a strike day or not people can't rely particularly in the north and the midlands on train services. So this is obviously a desperate attempt to distract and deflect from the government's own failures in all these sectors. Labour will be voting against these unjustified and unworkable proposals.